I think qualified celebrities are hard to come by. I mean, as a celebrity myself, the pickings can be kind of thin. Absolutely no one's really qualified to be in the ski fest. You know, they're celebrities, so they'd rather be on TV. Hi, guys. Um, Diane Neal. I don't know who you are. What? <laughs> um, I was thinking about that I would be of benefit to the different teams. Is um, there one person here that you feel more attracted to than the other? Wow. Can you just turn for one second and give me the... That's lovely. I love it. All right, next. For me, it seems like a pretty solid choice. If you want a good-looking team, you know, and I do. Hello, so I'm, uh, I'm Jennifer Morrison. I can't technically ski, but here's what I'm proposing. I feel like every team needs great team cheerleader. Can you do a cheer for us right now? Or a yeah. kick? Yeah. Uh, yes, all right, ready, and go. Gee, oh, let me hear you say it, go. Yeah. Go, oh, man. Hey. go. Yeah. Okay, that's I really mean, all I got, but I'm I do feel like your thighs might be a little they're small. They're so small. I need hefty thighs. You could do some squats. Before. You don't have time for that. Yeah. You should have been doing that all year. You really should have. Okay, bring in the next one. The biggest thing that you really want to go after, you know, they're going to need to show their physical agility, their mental stability. People have died. Don't, don't, don't let these things fool you. I'm, uh, nope. I'm next. feeling good. This... Yeah, I mean, we got sent some real doozies. This is about putting pieces of the puzzle together. And you don't want to prejudge people all the time, but you have to. I am Mark Feuerstein. I want to make skiing great again. Okay. I want to ski for you. Wow. For you. Wow. Whoa. For, um, I think two's good. Did you have a bar mitzvah? I was bar mitzvah. That's what oh, I want to wow. I can do this. Oh. Hava, Nagila, Hava. I can do that while I'm skiing down the slopes. Boom! Wow. <laughs> I need I that on my team. I'm so confused right now. I'm beside myself. This is going to be a very tough decision. Don't ask me no more stupid questions. I don't know who I'm going to pick. Welcome to Deer Valley, and you just got a look at the rigorous selection process that went into picking our teams for today's Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest. Hello, everyone. I'm Bill McAtee. Welcome to Deer Valley, Utah, one of the preeminent ski destinations in the world. We're here today for an event that is a little bit about skiing, a lot about entertainment, all in the service of an important cause, the Waterkeeper Alliance, which is charged with helping keep our water supply safe around the globe. The festivities began with the arrival of our celebrities, courtesy of Southwest Airlines. After a short drive into the Wasatch Mountains, they stormed the Montage Hotel in Deer Valley. Another year of skiing, I'm trying to not break my leg. It was a fun and entertaining start. And it's great to see you, okay? Yeah. Right here. Leaving the celebrities anticipating an incredible performance by musical guest Dirks Bentley. It was a fun and entertaining start. So it's clear we're going to have some characters to watch today. I'd like to bring in my colleague, Trace Worthington, who's a former world freestyle champion as well as an Olympian. So what are your expectations as we're here in your backyard in Deer Valley, your expectations for what we're going to see today? Well, this is a lot like the Olympics, if you think about it. There's, there's snow, and then <laughs> there's snow. That's about it. There's snow. That's about it. <laughs> but if, uh, using history as a guide, there's three levels of skiers here. You have the Olympians, fast, dynamic ski racing. They're pushing each other every single year, so we're going to see some fast skiing out of the Olympians. Then you have the celebrities, right? You have the celebrity that comes down, plays it safe, gets it done from top to bottom. They're team players and everything that you have to do for this race, right? But then you have, this is where it gets ugly, then you have the celebrity who's like, I'm super awesome. I've got this. I can be like the Olympians. And they're flying down, right? And they've got their, can I use your shoulder? And they've got, they're flying down. Their feet are yes. way above their head. And they're like sitting there going, why is this happening to me? 
I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. This you know, can't right? be happening. So it's a lot of fun to watch. A lot of diverse skill sets that we're going to see out here. And one thing's for sure, a lot of unscripted entertainment, Bill. All right. So with that in mind, we have four teams made up of six competitors. There is going to be two semifinals for those four teams. And the two winners will meet in the finals. So let's take a look at the lineups for semifinal number one. It will be Team Deer Valley against Team Paul Mitchell. J.B. Smoove and Cheryl Hines are the two captains. We're going to start with the Mayer brothers, Phil Mayer and Steve Mayer. Then Taylor Hicks and Nicole Curtis will go head-to-head. -head. Thomas Harmon and Chad Lowe. Captain Keith Colburn will go against Christian Habel. And Stephen Weber against our host, Bobby Kennedy. Our team captains, J.B. Smoove and Cheryl Hines, are at the top of the course, and they appear to be working hard on their unique strategies. That's so sweet. Let me see. That's so sweet. Uh, yeah, that's, that's for my team. J.B., this, this is what I'm going to do to your see, snow that's angel. A, that's a snow angel. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> and so a little friendly competition among friends as we get ready for our first race. And Trace, what a way to begin. We've got uh, Steve Mayer there in the green jacket for Team Paul Mitchell. And alongside, there's uh, Team Captain Cheryl Hines going against his brother, Phil Mayer, and uh, Captain J.B. Smooth from Team Red Deer Valley. Ready. Yeah, Blue it's always ready. great watching these Three, guys race. Two, the twins, one. 58 years old, and watch the dynamic skiing out of these guys right now on the top part of the course. Look at the edging, and always just neck and neck, very typical of Phil and Steve. Once again, Phil on the blue course, and that is Steve on the red course. Looks like Steve has the advantage right there in the green jacket. He comes through and defeats his brother, Phil. And remember, Steve is the silver medalist, and Phil won the gold in Sarajevo. Let's take another look. It's going to be all about the start on this course today because it's a short course. And you see Steve coming across the line right there in the number one position. And that'll be a nice start for Captain Cheryl Hines and her team. All right, let's go down to the third member of our team today. Here's Summer Sanders. Summer? Oh, you guys, it's hard to keep up with the two of them. I said to Steve, were you happy with that run? What'd you say? Oh, yeah, we're pretty good. I mean, I beat that old fart. <laughs> I honestly can't keep up with who won the last race by how much. It's always so close. But you called the snow earlier ego snow. Explain yeah. that. Oh, so, well, it's the snow is just so good that you just feel like you can't do anything wrong on it. You know, and your head starts to swell. And then after that run, my head's back to normal. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Well, well, this is the only time you guys are going to face each other. So I guess you have you have won bragging it for right today. For one more year. We'll bragging yeah. rights for one more year. I'll take it. All right. Confidently walk over there. Congratulations, okay, thank you. you guys. Thanks. Back to the top of the mountain, and there's Taylor Hicks from American Idol fame, the winner of season five, and he's skiing for Team Deer Valley. And there's Nicole Curtis from Rehab Addict, a first-timer to the ski fest. She's getting advice from teammate Bobby Kennedy, Jr. Blue course ready. Three, two, one. Both of them, it's their first time, so they've got to focus. I spoke with Taylor Hicks earlier. He said he's an avid skier, but he's never raced gates before in his life. Oh, and going down is Nicole Curtis on the blue course. And so well, she will get some attention to make sure she's OK. Smile on her face. And our fine folks at Deer Valley helping her up as Taylor Hicks, nice and smooth. First day ever of racing gates. Impressive and pulling through the finish is Taylor Hicks. And he'll take this one. And he notches the victory and looking for a little more applause. And meanwhile, Nicole is up and OK, making her way down. And we're getting word from the top of the hill that we may be able to identify the source of Nicole's problems at the start. Let's take a look. Uh, that Blue is ready. Nicole. This is her first time. She's so nervous. Well, Bill, check this out. You see a little push there by Bobby Kennedy. It seems to have led to her demise. And she goes down right there. What do you think? Is that cheating, pushing her out of the gate? Perhaps not. <laughs> I shouldn't have pushed her. Did you push her? <laughs> well, he's one of the biggest country stars out there. Performances by Dirks Bentley coming up. This CBS Sports Spectacular Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest is sponsored by Paul Mitchell. Live beautifully. Seiko, dedicated to perfection. 
Progressive. Comparing rates to help you save. Now that's Progressive. And by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. Saturday night was the weekend's signature event at the Montage Deer Valley, the fundraiser for Waterkeeper Alliance. The evening began with a social hour and silent auction, giving the celebrities the chance to meet and greet fellow supporters. Dinner in the ballroom began with members of the leadership circle bringing awareness to the tireless efforts of Waterkeeper Alliance. I'm a strong supporter of Waterkeeper. I love the mission. I'm an evangelist for this mission, and uh, it is because they bring emerging and critical issues to the forefront, and they demand action on it. But the real highlight of the night's bidding was the live auction, complete with a cameo from Man's Best Friend. It's going away for $24,000. Ready, sold it. Good bidding, goodbye. The night raised over $500,000 for Waterkeeper Alliance, capped off with a performance by country music sensation Dirks Bentley. Definitely a memorable evening as we're back now with semifinal number one. Team Paul Mitchell and Team Deer Valley are tied. And up at the top of the hill, Chad Lowe and Thomas Harmon are getting ready. Chad Lowe from Pretty Little Liars and Thomas Harmon won this coveted spot in the auction last night. Chad Lowe on the red course and jumps out to a good start, but it is even right here with Thomas Harmon on the blue course. And it's a tight race on the top. Very important right here is it drops into the steep section, Bill, to stay on your game, stay on your edge, control your emotions right there. And here's where it gets fast at the bottom, as you see Thomas Harmon getting in a nice tuck. And he will pull off the victory here in this first semifinal heat. Nice job from Thomas Harmon, who's the founder and CEO of uh, Balsam Hill Christmas Tree Company, clearly getting in a few runs along the way at the top of the hill. Captain Keith Colburn, as they have a two to one advantage at this point. And he's going against from Team Paul Mitchell, Christian Habel. Five seconds. Red course ready. Habel on the blue course. Blue course. Three, Keith Colburn on two, the red one. course. Now, Colburn used to be a ski bum before he became a fisherman, so he's got some skills. He's got a little extra weight to carry him down the hill, which helps with gravity, obviously. Colburn from Deadliest Catch, and uh, Christian Habel, the violinist, who is uh, has toured with Billy Joel, Barbara Streisand, and currently with Josh Groban. Fisherman versus today. musician as well, Keith Colburn cruises down nicely through the red course. 
and finds a victory. And that will give Team Deer Valley a 3-1 to one advantage. And among the spectators, there's our friend and host, Bob Horowitz. It's Juma's 24th year on CBS, and Bob and his team definitely know how to throw a party. Our final race in semifinal number one, as Team Deer Valley has already wrapped it up, there's uh, Bobby Kennedy from the Waterkeeper Alliance. He's on the red course, and over on the Hello other course is Stephen Weber, red who's featured ready. in House of Lies and NCIS New Orleans Three, here two, on CBS. Go, 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 Final go, go, race go. of semifinal number one. See a nice start there by Bobby Kennedy on the red course. Steve Weber has to pour on some speed. Steve Weber's down, and his skis go flying off, and he'll take a little bit of a slide. And Bobby Kennedy just has to keep it smooth and make no mistakes, and, and we he have will win Steve this one. But a little bit too late, line, as the rest of his team was defeated early on here, Phil. Steve Weber scampers down the hill. Let's uh, take another look. That's showing some fine form. <laughs> Let's see if we can pick up where the slip occurred. There it is, catching an edge. Yep, just catching an edge, and luckily releasing from those bindings. You stay in the bindings, and uh, bad things can happen. But uh, he's all right, having fun out here, and letting our host take the victory uh, is not a bad idea, Bill. <laughs> there he goes. He's going to cross the finish line one way or another. <laughs> hey, Mr. Gate. Gonna go back and get that. Nice finish. Unbelievable. Didn't even loosen up his ski boots. That was amazing. Did the race start yet? <laughs> You're right on time. You're right on time. Thanks. Hey, your team won. <coughs> we did. Congratulations. And I do appreciate that you allowed Team Paul Mitchell one win. Bobby Kennedy needed that win right there. Thank you. It's not close. It's not time. What made you decide to leave your skis up there? Uh, they've slowed me down. Uh, skis, when I ski, slow me down. <laughs> so that will make, despite the win by Bobby Kennedy, a victory in semifinal number one for Team Deer Valley. They will win it three to two. More of the semifinals when we return. Look, we're celebrities. I mean, some of us are. Who are they? I don't know who they are. I don't even know what is the definition of celebrity. When you walk in to some place, people right. go, ah, who is that? They are D-list celebrities. There are, are A-list celebrities. I consider myself a fine-tuned C+. I have a very weird relationship with celebrity. Well, I think we're better than other people. No, I'm kidding. We're not at all. That's the lady. Isn't that the gal that did the thing? thing? Who did the, that, the, the other, other thing, thing with and the guy? And the glasses. So that is a celebrity. Yeah. I'm Kate Walsh and I broke my thumb today. Uh-huh. They say go big or go home. Well, I went big and I have to go home early. I had a great tour of the urgent care facility in Park City, real good people. And I got to see my own x-ray. Someone actually asked me if I thought it looked weird. I said, that looks like it's broken. I'm not an expert. It kind of matches my outfit. Yeah, it's cool though. Well, we certainly miss Kate today, but everyone knows the importance of safety on the hill. And here's Mark Feuerstein warming up with a tip from Osby. Woo! Yeah! That course is killer. But when you're arcing and sparking, you gotta protect your noggin. Osby helmets are the highest quality multi-impact helmet in the world. And I think you'll agree they're Italian sexy, 100% made in Italy. And the best part about these things, they flip up and down, 180 degree visibility all the way around. You just flip them up, down. Everyone on this course is jealous of me. You will never lose your goggles again, ever. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mark's been at this event for a few years running and he is quite the competitor as we take a look at our matchups for semifinal number two. The two team captains, Rachel Harris and Amy Brenneman. Tommy Moe will take on Heidi Volker, Nicole Miller against Perry Reeves, David Kirk and Joel Shine, Emily Bruno and Maria Bello and Mark Feuerstein and Rob Morrow will anchor semifinal number two. In the gate, there is Heidi Volker, who is, uh, of course, a former 
Olympian in 1988 and 1992, as well as 1994. She's going against Tommy Moe. And these two met last year. Tommy won it. Heidi said, I'm going, I'm losing the jacket, and I'm out for revenge. Heidi said it's all about the start when I spoke with her earlier, and she just blasted out of the start there. Doing a nice job. That is the key to winning this race on this shorter course. And look at the speed Heidi Volker is carrying on the red course. And Tommy Moe trying to ride that flat ski and gain a little bit more speed. But Heidi doing a great job. And Heidi Volker avenging the loss last year. Now here's the start. Look at Heidi just pumping it up right there. That is her slalom and giant slalom background taking over right there. Tommy Moe, a downhill racer, doesn't have to start that quickly in his career. And he won last year, but he just couldn't get it done again, Bill, all about the start. And both of these Olympians are down with some. We are celebrating down here. Girls unite on this side. Sweet revenge for you this year, right? Well, it's always uh, tough to go against the guys, and I'm just honored to go against them. And, you know, when you're in uh, the start and you look over and you're racing against a gold medalist, it's <laughs> quite nerve-wracking. <laughs> now, I understand that you took your jacket off first, and that inspired you taking your jacket off. What's the reason behind that? Is it the drag situation? A little bit more aerodynamic. I needed every, every little second of time I needed out there. But it's really fun, isn't it? I mean, you guys go against each other almost every year. This is fun. It's become a fun rivalry. It's a blast, but I know it's a, this is like an obstacle course. So if it was any longer, he'd get me. <laughs> well, you guys both did great. Very impressive. Everyone here is now like a snowman because you've covered us with snow. Well done. Thank you, Summer. One of the event's biggest supporters is Jean-Paul DeJoria, the co-founder of Paul Mitchell and Patron. As one of Waterkeeper Alliance's great champions, he and Bobby Kennedy Jr. share a commitment to making a difference in the world. Everybody wants clean water, and everybody understands that issue, and that's why people are willing to do the kind of work that we do as an organization and to support this work. Waterkeeper Alliance is one of the many things we're doing. In fact, one of the most important things, because all life needs water. And this organization gets something done. We shouldn't have to choose between economic prosperity on the one hand and environmental protection on the other. Those things are the same. At Paul Mitchell, giving back is part of our culture. We feel that every human being, every company, and every entity on the planet should do something to make the world a better place to live because they're here. It's an investment we have to make if we want to ensure the economic vitality of this generation and, and future generations. Two good friends coming together for a great cause, which is why we're all here today. Team Southwest off to a, a good start as we are ready for heat number two. And there is Nicole Miller for Team Montage, wonderful fashion designer. And there is Perry Reeves, best known for her role in Entourage as Ari Gold's wife. She's for Team Southwest. We're underway. She's on the blue course. So Nicole Miller just with an edge on the red course. Actually right here on the steep section coming in, dropping down. Perry Reeves doing a nice job pulling ahead now on the blue course. Nice form held by Perry Reeves. Look at the hands forward and just tucking down low, getting that nice turn done early and pumping the skis and throws the poles. The I've never seen that one before. And a great job by Perry Reeves, who has uh, showed excellent form. So Team Southwest is out to a quick 2-0 lead, and we'll be back with more semifinal action at the Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest after this. Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest. The Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest. Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest. Luxury accommodations provided by Montage Deer Valley. Air travel provided by Southwest Airlines. And apparel provided by Dassault. And we are back in Deer Valley with the score 3-0. It looks like Team Montage is working to get pumped up with some traditional inspirational songs at the top of the hill. <laughs> It's got a nice chair. Yeah. a nice chair. Yeah. 
new car. Go team Rachel yeah. Harris. Yeah. Hey, no, 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 go team Amy Brenneman. <laughs> what? I got sucked in. It's not my team. Yeah, go team Rachel Harris. Sorry, Amy Brenneman. Thank you. You know, before two seconds. And so the stage is set. I don't know if Emily Bruno was able to follow along, but she's on team montage, and they are in desperate need of a win. And she's going against uh, Maria Bello from Team Southwest, and Team Southwest off to a 3 nothing advantage, so they have already locked up a spot in the final. Emily Bruno on the red course, the wife of Dylan Bruno. And Dylan, oh, a little... Crazy at the start there, getting caught up, but still maintaining a decent lead. Emily Bruno, who is a great skier, and her and her husband Dylan ski a lot as Maria Bello goes down on the blue course and still continues to slide. And look at that. Look at that form. Wow, Emily Bruno, her husband Dylan, you, you and I spoke with him earlier. He had that back injury and uh, skiing, ironically, and they pulled himself out of the competition. They raced against each other last year, and there's uh, Maria Bello. Hopefully she's uh, okay, just kind of tangled up. <laughs> this, is, this is not good. I think uh, the definition of not good is accompanied by this picture. So she's going to try to release the bindings and uh, do something to get herself up before she gets some assistance. There it's released, and now she's able to untangle. I think she cut a deal with Paul Mitchell. So if Perhaps. You take, take one for the team and, and head into the fence, you get some airtime. Looks like she's uh, okay, giving us the thumbs up. Let's uh, see if we can pick up what happened. Impressive skiing by Emily Bruno, just holding an incredible edge. But look at that, getting in the back seat and letting that gravity in the steep section of the course take over and just lost control. Maria Bello, as you see Emily Bruno with an easy win here. And Maria Bello still down. That was a little scary, Bill. You can get twisted up, especially with like with the banner right there and with your skis not coming off. But uh, she's all right, up and walking. Pushing off some of the snow. And the win by Emily Bruno puts Team Montage on the board after the quick start from Team Southwest. And let's uh, go down to the finish. And once again, here's Summer. She has got her fan club right back over here, right? Well done, huh? Dylan is usually out here, as we said it before, he got injured, so you were representing the family. Yeah, and last year I had to raise him, so maybe it was actually good that he didn't ski this year. <laughs> and we are we're so concerned about Maria, and we think she's okay. It's never as fun to race when you're the only one that crosses the finish line. No, no, I really hope she didn't get hurt and everything is good. She's okay, but you looked great out there, so congratulations. Thank you so much, thank you. And there's husband Dylan Bruno. He's injured, but a big kiss from winner Emily. Hugs from the family as we go back to summer with a special guest. All right, thanks, Bill. I am here with Papa Johns. He's been fueling our every Sunday for many, many years. But you love this event. You come back many, many times. Last year you won, but we're not seeing you out here this year. So what's up? Yeah, we're a little rusty this year, so we <laughs> decided to take a year off. But uh, you know, anything's good for Park City. I know that's your home. Yeah. Anything's good for Deer Valley or anything's good for our environment. You know, anything just make the world a better place. Yeah. Papa John's is always going to be a part of that. Yeah, and you're talking specifically, this race is important, but it's for the Waterkeeper Alliance, and that's important for you to represent, be represented here. Yeah, we, we, we study water. I mean, you can't uh, make good wine from bad grapes, mm -hmm. and you can't make good pizza dough with bad water. So, you know, good water is not only good for pizza dough, but it's good for our environment. And anything that's good for our environment is good for Papa John's. That's a great message. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support here. Gold medalist. Summer. <laughs> Thanks, Papa John. Appreciate it. I don't want to brag. <laughs> but do. Here you go. Brag. But my team has never lost, and I've been here four no times. No way. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, yeah, we're good luck. You know, I don't want to psych the other team out. That is a bit of intel. Yeah, thank you. Perry Reeves confirming her undefeated status in this event. There's Rob Morrow for our final heat in semifinal number two, going against Mark Feuerstein. These are two very good skiers and two veterans of this event. As we are underway here in our final heat in semifinal number two. Rob Morrow on the red course. He has the GoPro on the helmet. That's the object that's stuck on top of his head. As you see, Feuerstein on the blue course, 
really get low, trying to find some speed, but washing out just a little bit. You got to stay on the edges and carve and not slide. He'll still take the win here, but he had to fight for it against Rob Morrow. So Team Montage gets another win on the board to make it a respectable three to two. Let's take a look at the start. Well, they got off to an even start, so it's all squared up at the beginning. But then you see Feuerstein just getting into the turn a little bit early and then holding that nice tuck, a bit of aerodynamic at the bottom. He takes the win. And let's go down to summer. <laughs> see, you guys, this is how easy this interview is. This is all I have to do. Take it away, guys. It's the battle of the Jewish doctors. Dr. Fleischman. Dr. Lawson. That's right. We went head to head. Luckily, no one got hurt and had to operate because we'd be in big trouble. But he, my pole broke. He was skiing so fast that I broke my pole oh trying my to keep up. I've had that effect on many men. <laughs> And we're going to sign off with that. Well done, guys. <laughs> we you. wish your race was earlier, you know, know. so it really count. It was, it, we were on pins and needles. Good, yeah, Desant, thank you. He's noticing my Desant jacket. Thank yeah, you very, very much. Very good on you. Very good. <laughs> thank you. The ever stylish Summer Sanders and uh, Team Southwest has earned a spot okay, in the final. So team with a three to two win over Team Montage, and it was that fast start, Heidi Volker, Perry Reeves, and Joel Shine making it an insurmountable 3-0 lead before Emily Bruno and Mark Feuerstein got on the board for Team Montage in semifinal number two. We'll be back after this. I always get confused. I said to my son, like, do you think I'm a celebrity? He's like, little. It's like, do I know you? And you're thinking like, no, you don't know me, but I'm on TV shows. And then you have, you yourself have to say, well, I was on TV shows. And I'm like, I never watch TV. And then you're like, I don't, why am I feeling worse than when we began this conversation? Now I just, like, did I go to high school with you? I will say, yes, you probably did, or I dated your brother. Montage Deer Valley, located mid-mountain at Empire Pass. There is a 70-mile view overlooking the beautiful Uinta Mountains. Montage has been recognized as a premier destination in the hospitality industry. The luxury ski-in, ski-out hotel boasts a 35,000-square-foot spa, the largest facility of its kind in the state of Utah. The relaxation experience includes 29 treatment rooms and a stunning indoor mosaic pool. Rated the number one hotel in the world for family programming, the Montage offers entertainment for everyone, including a four-lane bowling alley and the brand new Burgers and Bourbon Bar and Restaurant. Welcome to Montage Deer Valley. We are ready now for the Southwest Challenge with $500 going to the winner's charity of choice. And it'll be Mark Feuerstein over on the red course from the West Wing. And once and again against Captain Keith Colbert from Deadliest Catch over on the blue course. And already there's been some trash talking between these two. Hey, you're not psyching me out. I'm telling you that right now. What time is it, JB? You know what time it is. It's time to eat a captain of a ship time. You uh oh! Really, man? Really? I'm going to put some, really, really? some star kiss tuna in that are. can. Really? And eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Talking Woo! continues. JB Smooth stirring it up there in the middle. Exactly. And uh, a good start for Captain Keith Colburn because Mark Feuerstein is, has shown himself to be an excellent skier. Now, Feuerstein, as I mentioned earlier, might be skiing beyond his abilities. You see those late turns, and that gets dangerous, but it flattens out down here at the bottom, so it should be all safe and clear to take the victory in the Southwest Challenge. And Mark Feuerstein wins the Southwest Challenge against Captain Keith Colbert. Oh, Captain, my Captain. 23.22 for the blue course. Water, water everywhere. And the Captain. Southwest Tremendous South. amount of trash talking at the top, Mark. There was a lot of you trash have talking. won the Southwest Challenge. Time. Here is your $500 gift card. $500. And it's for your charity of your choice. Great. What charity is it going to? CHLA, one of the greatest institutions in Los Angeles, the world over. They actually saved my daughter's life when she was five months old. CHLA is getting this money. Congratulations. Yes. Yeah. 
Ready for our final Team Southwest against Team Deer Valley. The captains, J.B. Smoove and Amy Brenneman. Here are the Olympians, Phil Mayer against Heidi Volker, Stephen Weber and Emily Bruno. Then Keith Colburn and Rob Morrow and Taylor Hicks and Perry Reeves. Here's Captain Amy Brenneman with some sage words of wisdom for Team Southwest. Here's what I have to say to you. We don't need to be loud and bombastic because we know we got the goods, okay? Right. Here's what I have to say. The first, the first one round, you ski fast. Here's what I have to say, take it in. You don't have to respond right now. Ski faster. <laughs> Boom. That's awesome. Inspirational words to be sure as we are set now for the final and our Olympians. There's Phil Mayer. He lost to his brother Steve in the semifinals, but his team advanced, Team Deer Valley, and in against Heidi Volker, who had a nice win over Tommy Moe in the semifinals. Now, where Heidi had the advantage was the start. We saw that earlier. It's exactly how she won that matchup. Volker on the blue course and Phil Mayer on the red. And another great start by Volker. This is going to be a battle. It's neck and neck right now. Volker, though, with the advantage just by about a ski tip. And here is where Phil could pour it on at the bottom and watch Phil get low, but Heidi a little bit lower. And Heidi Volker takes this one over Phil Mayer. And Heidi sweeps both races, and she gives Team Southwest the early advantage here in the finals. And let's go down to Summer Sanders. There is only love down here. There's no winner and loser in this, but it does feel good to cross the finish line first. Oh, it does. It may, I'm, ner I'm getting too old for this. I'm nervous up there. <laughs> Were you really? Did you have the Did you have the butterflies? Oh yeah, going against these guys. You kidding me? How did you feel? Now I'm no ski expert, but I did see. Like a little bit in your turn, it was like the second or third gate or something that you just lost a little bit. Third gate, uh, but when I don't know, I just I got pitched a little bit there, and when it was fourth gate, I got like, it's uh, over at that point, you know. Excuses, so well. excuses. But, you know, I I had my pole between my legs. Yeah, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> we'll leave it on that. All right, way to start it off, guys. Back at the top of the mountain, Team Southwest with a 1-0 advantage. And here's Emily Bruno, who's replacing Maria Bello, who took a fall in the semifinals. So she will be skiing for Team Southwest in the second heat of the final. And she'll go against Steven Weber from Team Deer Valley. Now, this is Red actually a very ready. tough draw for Steven ready. Weber, Three, who's two, on the blue one. course. Had a crash early on, on but Emily Bruno has great skills. You see her get out of the gate a lot quicker. And look at those turns. And holding a nice edge is Emily Bruno. And going down again for the second time in a row, Steven Weber. Meanwhile, Emily Bruno with the victory. And that gives uh, Team Southwest a 2-0 advantage as we watched Steven Weber who was uh, featured in House of Lies and NCIS New Orleans coming through and concluding his run. The agony of defeat. Undefeated! Clearly a gracious winner as Team Southwest is off to another fast start. Back with more in Deer Valley after this. This is a celebrity ski fest. You've got to bring your A-game. Look here. I got you. It's like Gandhi would always say. You know what Gandhi would say. You are an athlete. You're good enough. You're smart enough. And doggone it, people like you. Never miss a moment of the action with the CBS Sports app. Every play and score, every game and every highlight right as they happen. Download the CBS Sports app now. And we are back at the Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest watching Captain J.B. Smoove motivating his team, hopefully to victory with the help of hypnotist Chris Jones. Confidence, energy, energy, win, win, victory, victory. Make them look bad. Make them look bad. Smoove. And look at how things stand. Heidi Volker and Emily Bruno, both winners already. Team Deer Valley is going to need that confidence with the score 2-0. Team Southwest as Thomas Harmon gets ready to go against Joel Shine. They won spots on the teams in Saturday night's auction. And this race really matters. Harmon needs to win it to keep Team Deer Valley alive. Team Southwest can wrap it up with a win here. Oh,
Uh, Emily Bruno earlier was, was talking about the, the turns and the turny gates at the top. And you see they're spread out a little bit further, so you have to have big, long, arcing turns at the top of the course. And then it starts to mellow out and get a little bit more direct right here in the middle section of the course, which is steeper. And then completely mellows out in a lot straighter gates at the bottom. And that's the area where you can pick up a lot of speed. Well, that was an important win for Team Deer Valley from Thomas Harmon. And he puts Team Deer Valley on the board. But they still trail two to one. And Rob Moore, waiting in the gate, can wrap it up for Team Southwest with a victory here. And Captain Keith needs a, a win to keep uh, things alive for Team Deer Valley. Captain Keith Colburn from Deadliest Catch. Keith uh, has the buckle of his helmet not attached right now. But right, this is going to be a very close race. I can tell so far right now. Even race, Colburn coming in hot right there on the gates, and he gets in the back seat, and he goes over into the red course. Captain and he's down. down big. Yard sale for the captain. Fist comes up, indicating that he's okay. And the win for Rob Morrow. And that will wrap things up for Team Southwest. Unofficially, there's still a, another race to go as Captain uh, Keith Colburn gets up and comes down on one ski. This could be ugly before it's any good. <laughs> but listen, any, any port in the storm, so... <laughs> He'll try to figure out how to navigate the rest of the terrain. Maybe it would be better without the ski. Yes, there it goes. Let's go down to summer. Team Southwest and Rob's big win. A huge moment for you, pal. Very big, very big. Very important way to start the season for me. I think we need to recognize Captain Keith, though. The yard sale, tried to come down on one ski, amazing. You want to know an interesting fact in the history of this event? It's the most falls we've had. Yes. Yeah, I thought so. It has been a tough day for our skiers as Captain Keith takes a bow and crosses the finish line sans skis. And that means that Team Southwest has wrapped things up with a 3-1 lead. Taylor Hicks will try to make it a 3-2 final. And he's against Perry Reeves. Perry Reeves, of course, as we've mentioned, has never lost here at the Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest. We are underway in our final heat. Oh, check it out. Uh, Taylor Hicks was uh, messing with his pole right out of the gate. Couldn't get the grip. And now he's washing out a little bit. You can tell he's clearly distracted. Perry Reeves skiing so consistently over the years, and that's why she's been a part of that championship team. And look at her nice, clean form coming through the bottom section of the course. And the win for Perry Reeves giving Team Southwest a dominant victory here in the final over Team Deer Valley. We'll be back after this. It's Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest! I was a little angry. Let me try one more. Here we go. It's Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest! Bam! This CBS Sports Spectacular Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest is sponsored by Progressive. Comparing rates to help you save. Now that's Progressive. Paul Mitchell. Live beautifully. And by All Good Provisions, an authentic brand of organic snack foods. We are back in Deer Valley. Team Southwest wrapping it up with an impressive 4-1 win in the finals as we get ready for our Seiko Awards ceremony. And let's take one more look at our spectacular musical guest from Saturday night, Dirks Bentley. Yeah, I'm a trier. I'ma get down low so I can lift you higher An army couldn't bring down my desire Yeah, I'm a riser I'ma get up off the ground, no running either yeah, Pushing comes to shove baby I'm a fighter when darkness comes to town, I'm a lighter. Get out of life, the fire survivor. Yeah, I'm a riser. Yeah, I'm a riser. I'm a riser. I'm a riser.
time now for our progressive ski recap. Heidi Volker had a great day. She was on a mission this year, Bill. I mean, the game changer for her was getting out of the gate early and staying ahead of her opponents the entire way down. Meanwhile, for Steven Weber, a different story, a tough time today. Well, those big arcing turns at the top before you drop into the steep section is very tricky. And here is Captain Keith Colburn, who struggled <laughs> as well. So Colburn, look at that, going down, just trying to get the roll, playing it safe, and he's okay. And meanwhile, Perry Reeves always seems to ski well here in Deer Valley. She did it again today. Leading Team Southwest to the victory in the final, and that is our progressive ski recap. And let's go over to Summer Sanders at the Seiko Awards Ceremony. All right, here is your victorious Team Southwest dominated the finals. Of course, your captain, Amy Brenneman and Heidi Volker. Amy, I understand that you were really animated and very vocal up at the top. Um, I had to be because JB was so loud and so dominating that I just had to go, go the other way. Um, and I do want to say one thing about my extraordinary team. Everybody performed incredibly. On our team, on the finals, we had three women. They had none, and we won. Look at you. <laughs> well, look at, they are so excited. A clumsy woman. They are so excited because you guys, as you know, by winning, you each get a Seiko watch. What's coming? Way to go, Team Southwest! Well, another year of the Deer Valley Celebrity Ski Fest has come to a close, and what a wonderful weekend it was, all for a great cause. So for Trace Worthington, Summer Sanders, and our entire CBS Sports team, I'm Bill McAtee saying so long from Deer Valley, where Team Southwest has earned the coveted title of Celebrity Ski Fest Champion. Okay. Oh, okay. Good job. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. I'm out of your way. You got this. I'm out of your way. Did you just kiss What? Me? He's my teammate. That's how that's what I do with all of my teammates. Can I be one of your teammates? Not so happy to clown for the camera now because he's a loser.